Local Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Good morning. Another last look at that moon as it's setting off to the west. It'll be the full snow moon on Saturday, but we're getting a glimpse this morning. Look at that beautiful shot there of the moon. Again, looking off to the west, I-70 is at the bottom of our screen right now. So nice start to the morning as far as clear skies go. Down to the south of us, a little system passing through, not impacting us yesterday. You remember we said that would stay south of the area. That's exactly where it's located. Out west, messy conditions once again, a river of moisture flowing into California, not just southern sections, but we've got a trough here that's also pulling moisture into northern California and out in the Pacific Northwest. Closer to home, we'll find only a few thin clouds across our southern areas from that southern system this morning. Everybody else, skies are clear, temperatures are chilly, and Futurecast does a nice job of telling the story for us today, which will be a lot of sunshine out there through the entire day and into the afternoon. Later tonight, we'll see a few clouds passing through, and on Wednesday, clouds will start to increase a little bit for us ahead of a system that's going to bring those rain chances, but that won't be until late Wednesday night, overnight, and into the start of Thursday. So again, we stay dry through the day today and dry through the day tomorrow, but Thursday, you may have to grab the umbrella as you head out the door. Temperatures this afternoon, not bad at all. For this time of the year, we should still be in the 40s. We're going to get into the 50s out there for a daytime high. And tomorrow, we're talking about some of those 60 degree readings. So a very mild midweek, little breezy as we head into the day tomorrow, but it's those southerly winds that are helping to bring up the warmer conditions. Now we will experience a change in temperatures as we head toward the end of the week and the weekend. So the push of warm air comes in for us during the day tomorrow. Thursday also will be relatively mild to start. Then we're going to tap some colder air for Friday and Saturday. And when I say colder, I mean back into the 40s and closer to where we should be. Short-lived because by Sunday and Monday, we're going to find another very mild push of air comes in for us. This time around, we're talking mid-60s by early next week, but you'll notice there's cold air set to try to move in, and we're getting into that time of the year where when we get into March and we start to see that clash of air masses taking place, we'll be tracking the possibility for some thunderstorms, I have a feeling, by early next week. But as we talk about the end of February, we're talking about temperatures well above normal, and you'll feel a big change as we get into early next week as well. For today, not bad at all at 56 degrees above normal and sunny skies out there throughout the day today. Really a very nice uh, day for us for this time of the year. Tonight, just a few clouds around and overnight lows will be back down to near that freezing mark by morning. Little breezy tomorrow, but those southerly winds and sunshine take us into the low 60s. Rain is likely for Thursday. We'll be dry, but much cooler as you see to end the week and start the weekend on Saturday high probably slightly below average, but boy, is that short-lived. Look at Sunday and Monday. Listen, we could be getting close <laughs> to 70 degrees, and this time of the year, when you're looking at those kinds of temperatures, I'll just say, you know, you got to keep an eye to the sky because mm. we will be finding a drastic change toward the middle of next week, and I have a feeling we'll be talking about some thunderstorms by Tuesday. So, All right, good.